How's it going everybody? So today we're going to be making a meme generator. Now just a quick preface before we do begin. This is going to be very simple where there's going to be a button that will refresh the page each time it's clicked. And from an array of pictures or memes, it'll render a new image each time. So let's get into it. So I'm going to walk you guys through the actual setup of the application. Once it is set up, then I will give you a chance to code on your own by following the instructions that I provide. And after about 30 minutes, if you can't figure out a certain step, look onto the hint. And if you still can't figure out after another 30 minutes, then go ahead and look on the solution. So first things first is we need to create a React app. So let's do npx create React app. I'm gonna call it Thick Memes for now. Application has been set up. I'm just gonna clear out some of the stuff in here, such as this app header, and get rid of the logo since we don't need it anymore. And once you do that, I'm gonna add a H1 tag just to make sure that everything is working. I'm call it test, and we are good. So that concludes the setup of the application. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give you the instructions, hints, and solutions. Step one, I want you to create a button that will be responsible to generate a new meme. You can just, it's just a regular button right now. You can just call it whatever you want. New meme, generate meme, whatever. And I also want you to create a folder where you're going to be placing all your pictures, memes, or whatever, that when you click the button, it'll refresh the page and generate a new meme. So give yourselves at least 30 minutes if you can't figure out the problem. If you do figure it out way earlier, then go ahead and go to the next step. The hint for step one is look on the React docs on how to make a button. So hopefully you guys gave it at least 30 minutes and if you couldn't figure out, no problem. So let's go ahead and get rid of this test h1 div right here and we're going to add a button just using the button tag and I'll call it meme me. If I save that, we should get a button that says meme. It won't do anything right now because it's not set to do anything. And we also want to create a new folder that will contain our picture. So I'm just gonna call it pics for now. And I'm gonna import some of my memes in there. And let's place them in there. I'm just gonna rename these really quickly. All right, so I just renamed all of my memes in alphabetical order. It'll make it easier for me when I do wanna import them in a component later on. And that concludes the step one uh, walkthrough. So for step two, I want you to create a new JavaScript file where you will import all of your memes or images and store them, store all the imported images into an array. So give yourself at least 30 minutes and if you can't get it, no problem, then go ahead and look at the solution. So hopefully you guys gave it at least 30 minutes and if you couldn't get it, no problem. The hint for step two is look on the JavaScript documentation, how to create arrays, and how to import images in React. So good luck. Give yourselves at least 30 more minutes before you do look at the solution. Hopefully you gave it a try for at least 30 minutes, and if you couldn't get it, no problem. Let's walk through it right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new terminal, and I am going to start by creating a new file. So go into thick memes, and go into the src folder, and make a new file, I'm gonna call it pics, dot js capital p and inside of here i'm going to copy all of this code and put it into pix.js right there and i'm just going to do a h1 tag and say component connected we're not going to change the component in this step, but we're going to do it in the next step. So now we have to import all the images. This is going to take a little bit of time, but all you do is import uh, meme1, capital meme1 from dot slash pics, and we should do a dot png. PNG. All right. I'm just gonna copy this, I'm gonna paste it. How many do we have? We have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I'm just gonna paste it a couple times, I hope for the best. Change this to meme two, three, four, five, six, seven, oops, six, seven, eight, and nine. I think that might be a bit too many, but turn this to B, C, D, 
E F G H and I. Cool, we have just enough. Save that. And that should conclude step two. But we have to and we have to also store these images in an array. So let's go ahead and do const image array Oops. image array is equal to meme meme one meme two meme three meme four I know there's a more efficient way of doing this but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it manually for now just to make this application as simple as possible as it needs to be meme six meme 7, meme 8, and meme 9. Cool, that should do that. Now we have all the images inside of an array, and that's all we need to do. So that concludes the step 2 walkthrough. Actually, before I do finish this, let's edit this to do uh, render return, and also um, import a component here. It just makes it easier for me to, so it'd be class picks, um, extends component and do a render render ah these arrow keys are just really small on my computer so it's a little bit hard to type on them and I'm also going to import the component component and that should do that cool and I'm going to do the same thing on the next file as well so I don't think you guys need to see me do that. You can just copy exactly how I do it to this. And that concludes uh, step two. All right, so for step three, I want you to connect these two components together. So I want you to import pix.js in app.js. And once you've gotten that done, I want you to create a variable in the pix.js file that will be responsible for finding the index number randomly of this image array. So for example, you, you would refresh the page and you get index number of two, or you get index number of four or three. Every single time you refresh the page, you get a new index number, random. So give yourself at least 30 minutes, and if you can't figure it out, no problem. This is a pretty big step. Uh, go ahead and look at the solution, or I mean the hint, and then the solution. The hint for step three is I want you to look on the React documentation on how you can import components. And I also want you to look on the JavaScript documentation on how math.random, math.floor, and math.length works. So give yourselves at least 30 minutes, and if you can't figure out within that time, then go ahead and look at the solution. All right, so hopefully you guys gave it a try for at least 30 minutes, and if you couldn't get it, no problem. Let's go to the solution right now. So first things first is that we want to import pix.js into app.js. So the simplest way to do that is just straight up doing import pix from uh, dot slash pix. And if we were to, inside of here, we do call it picks component, we should get app is not defined in picks. Oh, okay, so we forgot to define this as picks. And when we do that, we have save it and refresh. Pick is not defined, line eight. Hmm. Oh, picks, uh, oops. There we go. And now, okay, so some of these files are JPEGs instead of PNG, so B is JPEG. Sometimes these errors do come up, so it's no big deal. JPEG, JPEG, PNG, A, B, C, D. Oh, I forgot E. E doesn't even exist. There's two Ds. Oh, one of them is, oops, one of them is a PNG, and one of them is a JPEG. So F is JPEG and G is JPEG, and H is JPEG, and I is JPEG. All right, so if we were to save that, and refresh, G, oh, <laughs> it's keep trying GG. Oops, GPG, GP, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, GPG, GPG, PG, PG. All right, that should do what we wanted to do, and we have the component connected, perfect. Alright, so now we want to, when we open our console, 
we want to create a variable that every single time we refresh the page, it will send us a different index of the image array. So I was talking about looking up those specific uh, components if you couldn't, if you couldn't figure out what's happening with it. Simplest way is that we're gonna do a, I'm gonna do let item is equal to math.floor, math.random, multiplied by image array dot length. So what this is doing is that this will give you a random number from whatever and this will round the number and this is just going to multiply the number by the length of the actual array. So if we do that and then we do console.log item we see that we have a different so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have meme 9 is going to appear. Refresh it again. We get meme 2. We get meme 2 again. Then we have 6. So it's going to keep us giving a different value. Let me change this to a different variable. Let's call it random meme num. All right. That should be what we want. Let me just double check if we covered everything in this step. So we want to look at how dot random works, dot floor, and dot length. Cool, and we also connect the components. Perfect. So for step four, I want you to loop over the image array, and I want you to return the images with a width of 25% and a height of 25%. Now give yourselves at least 30 minutes, and if you can't figure out, no problem, then go ahead and look at the hint. If you still can't figure out, then go ahead and look at the solution. Hopefully you guys give it a try for at least 30 minutes or more, and if you couldn't get it, no problem. Look up on the JavaScript documentation on how the dot map function works in JavaScript and use that to ret return the images with the proportion that it gave in the instructions. Alright, so hopefully you guys give it a try for at least 30 minutes and if you couldn't get it, no problem. Let's look over the solution right now. So first things first, we want to get rid of this console log and create a new variable that will be mapping over all the images. So let image mapper, I'm just gonna call it, is equal to image dot image array dot map. And inside of there we will do image for the variable image and using ES6 syntax, we will return an image with source being our image variable that we created earlier, right? right up here, I just changed to map, not now. Uh, and now, width is gonna be at, set at 25%, and the height will be set at also 25%. And if we were to console log this, and see if we do return the actual images properly, image mapper, we see that we have all the images returned from the array. And if we per, if we implemented our random meme num, we should only see our a random num each time. So here we have A, pick A, and then if we refresh again, we will see that we have pick I. And so every time we refresh, we're gonna get a different image. For step five, I want you to map. Uh, implement the image mapper variable and render it and I also want you to use the random meme number and I want you to implement that with image mapper so give yourselves at least 30 minutes to try this out can't figure out no problem then go ahead and look at the solution I mean the hint so the hint for this step is I want you to look up how to render variables Hopefully you guys give it a try for at least 30 minutes and if you couldn't get it, no problem. Let's go ahead and render the image mapper right down here. And all we need to do is use curly braces. We'll do image mapper. And if we save that, we should see all of our memes appear. But now we just want a random meme each time. So that's where we use our random meme num. And if we do that and we refresh each time, we're gonna get a new meme every single time. Cool. 
And let's actually increase this a little bit more. I think I made it a bit too small. Let's go up to 45%. And let's do this at 45% as well. Yeah, that should be good. And that concludes this step. Good job, everybody. All right, so for step six, I want you to go back into our app.js file and I want you to create a function that will be responsible for whenever we click this meme me button or whatever you called it to refresh the page. So hopefully you guys gave it a try for at least 30 minutes and if you couldn't figure out no problem, let's walk through it right now. So first things first is let's create a function that will be responsible for reloading the page on click. So I'm going to call it... Um, just for comedic purposes, I'm going to call it on clicker boy, but in the real world, you would want to name it as descriptive as possible every single time. So if you share the code with another person, they would know what the hell something does as opposed to just calling it on clicker boy. Alright, so ES6 function. And so to do that, to actually on click reload page, it'll be window.location.reload. And so now we're going to implement this down here so on click is going to be our handling event and do this dot on clicker boy and if we save that as opposed to having to click uh, as opposed to having to reload the page manually we click me me and it'll reload the page every single time and that concludes this tutorial good job we made it to this yeah good job if you made it this far into the tutorial Alright, so hopefully you guys learned something new from this tutorial. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.